Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to back to Death State. Not welcome to Death State. Anyway, uh, let's, let's get going. So, I there's an episode missing. I was recording, my hard drive was full, and so we unlocked this uh, wonderful lady. Wow, really? Right off the bat? Oh, shoot. The bug happened already! No! Wait. Why is everybody just stopped? Oh. I thought it was going to be world my world was my oyster for a little while there. No dice. Anyway, uh, yeah, so my hard drive was full and I lost all of the footage of me unlocking this character, which realistically wasn't that much, but still, it is definitely a sad, sad day for me. So slow. Oh, blood feels thick is the slow potion. Okay, well, now we know how the identification works. That weird floor thing is terrifying. Just saying. Okay, but I like the scientist a lot, just because she effectively has infinite use potions. That is her ability. She doesn't have a nuke, just potions. Uh, she's also 10% faster than everybody else, which comes in handy. I don't know, it's not it's not the most useful thing, just because I... Movement speed can be crucial in games like Binding of Isaac, when, you know, mobility is very important for dodging things. In this case, dodging things is more of kind of a, like, a positioning bit. And generally, speed isn't as useful as, a, as uh, you know, just skill. Also, like, if, if, uh, if a character had, like, an extra long dodge, like that thing, then they would be, like, invaluable. That, that would be an amazing ability. Doesn't exist. So... Meh. Now the one problem is, uh, potion-wise, very few of them are offensively useful. There's heal, there's, like, a speed up, there is... there's bomb. Bomb is useful. But apart from that, for the most part, there are no good, uh, like, combat potions. Which means this character actually is kind of subpar combat-wise, but the potential to occasionally use... Oh yeah, potions are... do end up being the same. Uh, so, you know, if you run across a potion... how what? That was like a really delayed hit from that one skeleton there. Um, but so if you use a slow potion, you will know that it's a slow potion in the future. I like that, that's nice. Looks like we've got a altar to desecrate, which I'm probably not gonna mess around with just because. Oh, okay, good. I can get through here. I thought for a second I wasn't gonna be able to get around that, get around that chest and I was gonna be sad. Oh, looks like there's another way to do it. And now I have the uh, Hellblade. Oh, my favorite weapon! Yeah! So, I believe I either unlocked this last time, or at least found it last time. It summons a bunch of infinite ranged hammers that actually rotate around me, the player character. Uh, they're not the best thing in the world. However, they go through walls, and, like I said, infinite range. They will hit things off screen for me. So, we have an extremely good benefit from this. It's going to be great for clearing enemies from pretty much everywhere because I, I don't even have to be here to hit them. I can just kind of ch be in the general vicinity and I'll be all right. Just got to watch my health more than anything else. Dang, I didn't even, I don't even know where that one came from or where that strike came from. Oh well, it's not a big deal. The, ha the hammers are easily dealing with it. I do wish they would uh, rotate me or, or they would rotate around me at a fixed interval. They don't really, so I can't... I can kind of aim them. Yeah, they do come at a fixed... Interval? I don't know. Either way, uh, they're hard to aim. But they're very effective at clearing groups of enemies at a decent distance. What's this one? Angel Steel uh, Sword. Not great. This is the one that fires uh, skulls and stuff at enemies, which is good. I will grant, but ain't nearly as good as clobbernaut hammers that just come out of me at all, every which angle and go forever. The, the skulls are even harder to aim than the, the fist is. Ooh, ow. We've got, we've got some triangle beasties down here. And they, they hurt. Let's go back for some healing. This guy is, uh, this guy is just dumping it on me. Hey, there we go. Okay, so we got the ready cat eye, which is another 10% damage, and dark seeking, plus 10%. Don't entirely know what Dark Seeking plus 10% does, but, well, we now are 10% better at Dark Seeking. Cool. Okay, and I don't think we got anything else in here. Is it just me or is the music really quiet? Oh, yeah, that's because I've got my uh, volume knob cranked all the way down. Eh, 
Okay, so this has actually turned out to be a pretty good run. Where's the exit? There's the exit. I didn't leave anything behind, right? Yeah. This is a small level. Weird. This is a small level that's apparently just a bunch of platforms with a tentacle underside. That's uncomfortable. Anyway. It's not quite boss time yet. We don't have a book. Hopefully I can get one. And apparently I can only shoot if I've got... Ah, I should probably use my, uh, use my potions a little bit more just for the possibility of getting healing. Um, yeah. My weapon still fires. Uh, my weapon still fires regardless of whether or not I'm holding left trigger. But I myself will not fire until I do so. Hopefully they fix that, uh, soon. Somebody said that they did, but it doesn't look like that has been, uh, fully rectified yet. I wonder if it's maybe a controller issue. I doubt it. It's just kind of an odd situation to begin with. But yeah, if you notice, we've got a bunch of basic enemies dead that I've generally never seen before. That's the power of the hammers. Actually feels really good using it. Using them, too. It it feels like I'm doing something more substantial than, you know, just shooting things. I mean, go figure. They... Ow. I do not profess to understand where that shot, shot was at. There's somebody on the other side here that's shooting at me. And is dead. Okay, well, that makes my life easier. I don't know. I just like them. They're fun. They're they're much more unique than most other weapons in this game. Or in really any game. They feel kind of like the, the laser that we found on the first episode. Which I'm kind of sad that I haven't run into since. Because that thing was awesome. And now we've got a Dark Cthulhu creature. I do wish that the sprites were adjusted a little bit more than being recolored. But, eh, whatever. Okay, so we get Brute's Lungs. So we're getting nothing but damage ups, uh, percentage-wise. If I can get a flat damage up, we're gonna be in a really happy place. And if we don't, well, at the very least, we're currently sitting, I believe, on a good 30% more damage. Yep. Because, yeah, if I, if I can get... If I can say... I know there's an item that gives me 0.5 more damage at the cost of some movement speed. If I can get that, we're going to be in a very good place. Hey, speaking of, I believe that's the book I'm looking for. Yeah! King in Yellow Complete Edition. I unlocked that the last round. So let's drink the health potion, obviously, and keep her going. So yeah, now we've got a full arsenal, we should be able to just ruin things. King in Yellow is one of the better books, and can shoot at six simultaneous enemies at the same time. Alright, so where are we going? Up here, I guess. I don't remember there being any anything else major. Nope, doesn't look like it. It's just a matter of getting to the end, wherever at the end may be. There we go, perfect. Boss time. Am I gonna do well? I hope so. I'm I'm feeling powerful here. We don't have a use ability, but honestly, I don't need one. Not with all these hammers. Not with all these shots. Mostly, just have to focus on dodging. I also noticed that I think when I'm running the bug, I have a longer range. I'm not sure why. Let's keep using that. Ooh, we're hammering him. Health's looking good. I can try using slow, but I don't actually know if that slow is for everybody or just me. I do not know. Ow. Well, either way, he dead. He's super dead. And we get the fatty spleen. Yes! That's that's exactly the item I was I was looking for. That gives me a uh, 0.5 damage, which which uh actually takes precedence over the multipliers. So now we effectively do twice twice our usual damage. I think that only counts for our basic attacks, but still, between everything, we are going to be just rolling things from a distance. This feels real good. Of course, you know, still high probability of death, just because, but at least it's uh, also a high probability of kicking everything's ass first. If I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go out kicking, and uh, well, I mean, there's not, eh, there's a little bit of screaming in this game. I can do some of that, I think. I'm probably not, I don't know, as the as the player, but I mean, the character's probably screaming. Let's be, let's be serious here. Okay, there we go. This is a good run. I like this character a lot. Oh, what even hit me there? Oh, probably him. Gloriously, the uh, champion mushroom enemies just commit suicide. I like them a lot. Okay, so we get another flat damage bonus. Uh, fire damage and dark seeking. So what's that put my damage at? 2.3, damn. 
So yeah, we're not we're in a really really happy place as far as like death and destruction goes. Our survivability is a little bit limited, but honestly, seeing as uh, healing is not proportional to the amount of health I have, all the extra heart containers really just delay the inevitable as opposed to really make me that much stronger. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Some health and some money. So what I'm looking for are permanent upgrades. You know, stat ups. Also a trinket. Oh, race change. If I can become the blue demon, we're going to be real happy. Is that going to happen? Nah, probably not. There's a lot of things that will be handy along the way. Will we get them? Probably not. But right now, like, we are substantially more powerful than usual. Am I powerful enough to fight the Cthulhu creature? That is a question I must ask myself, and that's not an answer I'm coming up with a good answer for, apart from, like, I really just don't want to die. I would like this run to go as far, far as I can, especially because we're only 11 minutes in, and ideally I would like this to be a, a one-off, you know, a, a one-and-done episode. Uh, just, just because I do not have enough time. Like I said, I lost the previous episode, which was like an hour long, to my hard drive being full. And now I no longer have enough time to, uh, fill out the next, uh, you know, I don't have enough time to do a similarly length, lengthy episode. Which makes me really sad, because I do actually like this game, I just haven't had the, had the time to devote to it. That said, life's getting a little bit better. Or more so, we probably won't run into this issue again. Which is good. Okay, so what do we need? Stat ups. Not to take damage. Hey, crown. Duke of... Koth's crown. Ooh, that's good. That is real good. So what that does is if I press Y, I start personally shooting more projectiles. More so than just, like, my swords and whatnot. I do, which is amazing. Also, we get the Blue Blood Hungry Heart. Which is great. It does reduce my rate of fire by a little bit, which sucks. Actually, come to... It's, it's a bit of a trade-off, honestly. Kind of depends on what you want. But it works great with uh, Koth's Crown. Because I can use this to just spitfire everything. Because, I mean, look at the amount of projectiles I'm putting out. I am now the bullet hell. And my enemies are just dead. Oh, I've got a healing potion. Didn't even realize to pick that one up. I said, I have no qualms about this. Now, I guess I could, uh, I guess I could, could just leave the level. I don't know how much more treasure we're going to find. I think we already found the mini boss for the area. Could be wrong. Either way. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go on, on my standard crusade of death here. Who knows, there might be a thing or two. Plus, we got time. And I have yet to determine if there's a benefit for completing levels faster than the uh, sort of prescribed time limit. I don't think so. Anyway, what's this one? Introvert. Oh, I see. That just means can't see anything. Okay, well, whatever. Why did I dodge that direction? Is there, if there's, is there a better way of doing it? I do not know. Anyway, I think I saw the teleporter up here. Yes? There we go. Okay, not quite boss time yet. We're on floor three. We're getting close. All right. Just gotta roll through everybody really hard. We are largely untouchable, which feels really good. But I mean, you gotta have an OP run every once in a while. That's just that's just the way. Uh, that's like roguelike rules. It, it's like in in a book somewhere. It's like when thou makes makest a roguelike. You must make it so every once in a while the player may just face roll the entire run and have a lot of fun with it. This feels like uh, it is fulfilling those requirements and hard. Let's go see what's in this chest. Ooh! I've seen this thing. Ow. That hurt a lot. Okay, so we've got... We've got a nuke crystal. Is it worth it? Hmm. Honestly, no. That, that crown is way more effective as far as I'm concerned. The, uh, the diamond is fun. It's definitely got some good abilities. Ooh, that hurt real bad. What did I just get? Max HP, MP regen, okay. Yeah, so I can just mash this crown all the time. In fact, we should just use it whenever it's off cooldown. We did have to use our healing, our healing though, which kind of sucked. Ow. I was trying to save that healing potion for the boss, though the boss is substantially easier than uh, than the first level boss. 
so it's not as concerning. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't look like there are iframes in this game, so you can get... You can get pretty... pretty quickly, uh... murder blasted, if you're not careful. And I was not being careful. I really was not. Okay, what other victims do we have here? The answer is not many, and no re reason to stick around and fight them. Looking for a shop. I got a lot of money here. Then again, chances of me finding a shop at this point are actually surprisingly low. There we go. Triggered both. Triggered all three. Anything else around here? We've got that whole group down to the bottom. Oh, we some zero that one. Uh, HP? Nope. Just money. But then again, our HP is actually looking a lot better. So I guess this is not so bad. Okay. I'm glad those cultists have short range. There we go. Okay, we get dizzy. We get another health potion. Good. Okay, doesn't look like we've got anything else here. Let's grab our money and run. And for unfortunately, the lack of shops... It's not crippling, it's just obnoxious. Because I, I want to spend my money. I want to get I want to get stuff. I want to do things. And it, 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 it is not in favor of me doing things. Oh, well. There's a lot of goobers here. Holy crap! That did a lot of damage. I took... Two hits from something. Damn. I guess let's pop the healing potion. Just because. So yeah, nice thing is, this boss, comparatively pretty easy to fight. He does have a couple of weird foibles here and there. Like the, the fish that jump out of the water, and the general issues getting close to him to attack him. But, you know, if you can kind of deal with it, it ain't so bad. Especially because uh, if you know if you know how to dodge, this boss is actually really easy to work with. Okay, that was less on the dodging side and more of the uh, screw it. He's almost dead anyway. Come on, just die, you sass. There we go. Suck it, Dagon. That is a horrifying death animation. Anyway, what do we get? Not a Lloyd Hart. Hey, boost my rate of fire back up. Good. I needed that. <sighs> Music for here. Maybe not the greatest. Oh well. So we've already got we've already got a boss here. That's not exactly what I want. Let's just go with the shoot everything forever mode. Oh hey! More damage multipliers. Beautiful. So what's that put my damage at? 2.45. Dang. I am a powerhouse. A little bit injured, but a powerhouse nonetheless. So yeah, any any time we are confronted with enemies, they will melt. It's just a matter of getting them to melt without taking damage myself. Especially with the filters in this area, it is actually surprisingly hard to see. There's a lot of bats in here too. However, I'm gonna try and make my uh, do my I'm gonna try and do my best just to clear this as fast as possible. The later levels are generally kind of rough as far as damage and whatnot goes. Okay. Uh, and I would like to, well, not damage, but, uh, enemies tend to have a lot more, ow. Enemies tend to have a lot more health, so it takes a lot longer to just murder brawl them all. Okay. That said, I think we're fine. Lots of bats following me, but I can work with bats. I really can. Okay. We good? We good. Ow. Ow. Unfortunately, a lot of the enemies have, like, faster reaction times than me, because obviously they're programmed to. You know, it is actually surprisingly hard to, uh, to program AI that doesn't just immediately react to the main character interacting with them. Okay, we've got, this is a big place. Let's just go with, it's, this is a big place and it's just filled with bats. What do we got up north? Oh, hey, we got another book. Okay, what do we get? Lesser anchor. Is the anchor worthwhile? No. It doesn't it doesn't seem nearly as good as what I had. Admittedly, kind of hard to tell, but just going from like basic impressions here did not feel as good. Ow. Ow. Ooh, hoo, hoo, he's dead. Okay. And we get yellow gel, which is largely useless to us, but still. We need to start using our, our, uh, 
our ability more. We need healing and stat. Because we have been taking the hits. And they are not good for us. I do feel like this book doesn't quite match its description. It says it can shoot at six enemies, but it feels like it generally just goes at one. I don't I don't profess to exactly understand, but that's okay. I would very much like some HP here. Okay, so this is this is a waste. You know, I would actually like a uh, upgrade that zooms the camera out permanently for a little while. But only a little while. Okay. Let's get out of here. There's... Uh, there might be upgrades, but there's probably just that book. Either way, we're running out of time. And I'd like to make it as far as I can in the uh, time I've been given. Like I said, you gotta rush on these levels. Otherwise, you just run out. It's not easy. That said, rushing too much means you get dead. And we've obviously taken a hell of a lot more damage here than we usually do. Oh right, the, the beholders have laser laser shots. I forget about that sometimes. And there's so many bats. Gotta remember, I can also dodge into said laser fire. Okay. I do like the idea of like passively kind of aggroing enemies and then just leaving them alone. Okay, we are taking some hits. Ain't great. We're killing them though. But we're we're a one very dismal point of health. Ow, half a point of health. Okay. Oh, it's not terrible. Oh. Okay, back up to one point of health. Okay, we can do this. Especially if this is particularly forthcoming. It sort of was. Bomb! Ow. Well, that was significantly less forthcoming than I thought it was going to be. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, we're dead. I was hoping I could just kind of, like, barge in and shoot them all. Didn't work. Oh, well, we got some new unlocks. What did we get? Costa Cart. Star Thing's Heart. I wonder if you can get, like, if you got a set bonus. So if you get, like, the Star, Star Thing's Heart, Brains, and Lungs. That'd be kind of cool. Either way, though, I'll see you guys on the next episode of Death State. And as always, thanks for watching.